Hello? Yo, we have a really, really big problem. What's like, up, Mary? <coughs> like, basically, like, I can't work anymore problem. Uh, I, why not? People, people are go. selling parts for, like, $80 per set to my mechanics, and they don't want to buy from me anymore. Yeah, but the thing and is, you, you never give me names, compete. people, or, like, people Malachi, who are doing this. I, I don't even know who it is, because I'm not even f***ing down there anymore. Okay, so Malachi we, we is took, doing this? It took this? us five days to sell our last order. Yeah, it's it's just people, literally, you name a sanitation worker. They probably got their own bench set up, and they're making parts, and they're selling them at, like, $6 for material. Right, like, who, I can't compete with that. Who, who are the biggest culprits? Malachi is the biggest one. Okay, I'm going to handle There's that. There's another one named Santana. 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 I, well, I, not Santana. Sorry. It's the, he's the Vagos guy. I forgot his name. Starts the Ness. Okay, so Vagos guy and Malachi. He used to run the Atomic, uh, the Atomic Autos place. Santonio. Okay. I don't know. Sergio. But those. N no, not Sergio. Santiago. Santiago. Yes, that's it. Santiago. Santiago and Malachi. Okay, I can handle it. Yeah, Listen, been, you give me names, I can handle price. it. I mean. Yeah, you say that, but like, I, I don't even think if you shoot them, it's gonna stop them. From I don't, that's not, that's parts, not how you know? I fire at people, uh, Mary. It's not what I do. Okay. Yeah. Well, all right. Um, I'm gonna have my guys keep putting together a list of names, but the biggest issue I have is the, the person that handles my parts is kind of a pushover. And when she, like, actually goes to sell parts, people say they have them. She doesn't push for information. So it's very hard for me to actually get you that info because she just hears they don't need parts and just walks away with their tail between her legs. So okay. It's really uh, annoying. Um, how much are they selling the parts for? Like per one? Eighty dollars. And you and you have to sell for what? Or what do you sell? One hundred twenty. One hundred twenty-five. Okay, I got you. All right, I'm gonna handle it. Like it's they're they're basically selling. So so like they're essentially cutting us both out because you yeah. you probably buy like seven or whatever. I buy at eight. Yeah. Uh, and your your workers make a bit of money. They're they're producing parts and selling them like six dollars per material. Yeah, yeah. They're they're, they're getting their own materials and, and then they're making yeah. their own parts and they're cutting everybody yes. out to make the most profit. Yeah. And the thing All is, right. I don't think it's gonna be like this forever because I from what I was understanding from some information I got about the mayor, is it seems like this the temporary this is like a temporary glut in materials and it's not gonna be like this forever. But for the next few weeks, like. It's probably going to be pretty. The thing is, the, ma hard. the mayor doesn't know anything about materials. Like materials, so he thinks, so he like increased the efficiency of the recyclers, but it didn't really change much. Yeah. Uh, he could put it oh. back down to zero, and it's virtually like still the same. If I'm yeah. being honest, you know what I mean? Well, if so that, it's, it's if not really going to change case, shit. That, that's even more concerning then, because yeah. that means that there's still crews out there that are willing to put, do all that shit and make all these parts for no money on top. You know? Yeah, I'm gonna handle it. Well, all right. Okay. I'll right. give a call. And Malachi right, and Santiago, so. biggest culprits. Any other names? Just please, just please give me names, and I can handle it. Just give me names. I'm gonna call Acker, and I'll see if he can give me some more. Okay. All right. Appreciate it, Mary. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye. We're gonna. I'm gonna start fucking motherfuckers up down. I'm a. They think Chang Gang was bad. They think Chang Gang was bad down at the yard. Oh baby. Mine gives up. <laughs> We're not doing shit. I don't give a fuck. Oh man. The thing is, the real, the real. The real problem is, is you can't solve this problem. Like you just can't. If if a motherfucker wants to run materials at four in the morning when nobody's around, and then go sell them at seven in the morning when nobody's around, like what, what can you do about it? I think is I wonder how much a mechanic makes to go through the trouble of even buying parts and repairing cars. Like the business just doesn't make sense to me. Like how do they even make money? How does some, how does a mechanic even make money when they can just go to Group Six or some shit? I don't understand. Yeah. So I called up back and he gave me a couple names. Apparently. I didn't know this. Like some of my mechanics went behind my back, and they bought a house in Mirror Park yesterday, and they're trying to—they're building shit out of their house, their own house there. So, oh Jesus, fuck! Yeah, that's what I just found out. So, um, that would explain why we haven't been selling many parts. Apparently, they were building them out of their apartments, like they pulled together and they took a loan to get a house in Mirror Park. So. Oh my God. Yeah, it's on—it's on Hydra's side though, JJ. So I don't know if we're gonna do anything about that, but. But yeah, so there's that. But Santiago is the biggest name, apparently. I called the Acker, and he said Santiago mainly supplies them. So. Okay. All right, I'll look into it. I mean, it. like, I, I just, I don't know what to do. Like, like, uh, like I, I want to continue buying materials to me because I enjoy like the whole business aspect, and I really enjoy doing mechanic work. But I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. I literally can't compete with these guys. They're on orders of magnitudes, like less prices than I can even think about competing with. So. Uh, yeah. I mean, it costs us. It costs us $112 just to make a part. And they're selling them for $30 cheaper. Like, I don't really know how to compete with that. 
Wait, so they're selling it for less than what they make it for? They're selling the parts for 80 to $90 per, yeah. Some of them do 100 It kind of depends on the, the seller, but that's about the price range. Yeah. And, and it costs them $112 to actually make the part? No, that's how much it costs us because we pay. Oh, uh, I see. Because you pay more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah, so we, 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 our <coughs> cost is higher than theirs. Do we so know how much it costs them? <coughs> uh, they, well, they're just kind of selling it at cost because they're making the parts. Mm -hmm. So from what I can tell, they're, they're, they're probably making like six and a half per material. It's like what their final ratio works out to. Okay. So they're basically making six and a half dollars per material. It doesn't make sense though because they also bought a house. And they're making less money. It's just, it's stupid. And then yeah, I, I mean, guess you have just... a bigger computer with Milton's mods. They've also been sucking up a lot of business with their cheaper pairs too, so. And that's a mechanic shop? Yeah, that's the ADMC mechanic shop. Hey, what is ADMC? What is that? They're uh, already dead motor club. They're a gang. What do they operate at? Uh, they operate out of Roy Lainstein Boulevard. Uh, and then they also push on forum drive with us and move AC and Hydra. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But they're, they're not really the biggest competitor. My biggest competitor is these fucking little snakes. Um, some of them are chain gang plants. I actually know that because I, I talked to one of them. He kept like talking about how he wanted to get close to me and like inside the house and get access to all of our shit and stuff like that, which is huge red flags. And apparently he was sent in by chain gang. His name is Charles Mintz. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing that like chain gang sent in some lackeys to do a little coup and cause I've not been at the shop. They've done it. So. How do you feel? But like, what is your plan? Are you are you bowing out of mechanic work? Uh, I mean, Acker. No, no, no. Listen, Lionel and Acker and Kadola, they're still going hard in the paint. But we're kind of we were hoping that Kintsuki would be approved sooner rather than later. Yeah. Um. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm spending a lot of time uh, just pushing and, and doing heist to share with my crew. So yeah. I'm going to put basically all of it into their control and let them do the the bulk of it. Um and kind of let them make over the decisions. Like, I still want to get Kintsugi, but like, I can't do anything until the state actually approves it, so. Yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, just do what, uh, do what you gotta do to survive, you know? Yeah. Yeah, right now I'm just pushing weed because it's the only thing I can do to make money. Yeah. I think do what you gotta do to, sur to survive and then we just go from there and see what happens. Yeah. I mean, if you still have extra materials, I'm sure I could find uh, another way that we could purchase them to get them off your hands. Maybe uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sitting on a mountain, so just thing. let me know what you need. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to people and see if we can get some needs together so that you're not, like, rot they're not rotting away forever. Yeah, no, it's all good. Give me a call. Then, yeah, all right, thank you, Ling. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <clears throat> I mean, listen, at the end of the day, like, we just got to reinvent the wheel, bro. We already had pl have, have plans. Like, we already, you know, talked to Jack. Like, in the, at, the, at the end of the day, you know, shit happens. It is what it is. 